at this refugee camp in Azraq, Jordan, a pilot project by the World Food Program allows refugees to buy their food without physical cash. Instead, money is electronically transferred from their accounts through biometric scanning under a project known as Building Blocks. And the transaction is recorded by the same technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether. Building Blocks is a blockchain-related pro uh, project where we use blockchain to make cash-based transfers more secure, more efficient and transparent for the people that donate to the World Food Program. When refugees go to the market, the biometric iris scan confirms their identities. Then the technology deducts the amount from the allowance provided by the World Food Program. Blockchain helps us to more efficiently transfer funds to the people who are in need. So when uh, refugees go to the store in a refugee camp, it doesn't make any difference for them, but we are able to save bank fees quite significantly. So we are able to reduce the payment fees that we would otherwise have for banks uh, of up to 3.5% to actually save the costs and then be able to transfer that money back uh, to the people that actually receive the cash to buy food with it. The pilot project began with 10,000 Syrian refugees at the Azraq camp, but it has been so successful that the World Food Program plans to expand it to at least 100,000 people in Jordan by the end of the year. That's all thanks to blockchain technology, which serves as an accounting ledger that keeps all the transaction data in one place. It's been hailed for the security and transparency that it provides and for saving costs by taking out the middleman like the bank. And that's why blockchain is being explored beyond the world of donors and philanthropy. It's going to be revolutionizing for taking over payment systems on a global basis. David Drake is the chairman of LDJ Capital and an expert on cryptocurrency who advises private and public agencies on how to implement blockchain technology. I think it's going to be mass adaptation in regular businesses to see efficiencies. Smart contracts, some of these have smart contracts saying can we attach verification on who it is? Can we attach identification who it is? And now, can you do that with securities? Absolutely. Is it going to happen with securities? No doubt about it. And because blockchain can be adopted across public and private sectors, experts say it has the potential to transform how governments and the world economy work. Leeling Town, CGTN, New York.